Exploratory Factor Analysis, abbreviated as EFA, uh, or alternatively can be called as Principal Factor Analysis or Common Factor Analysis. Uh, in SPSS, it is designated as Principal Axis Factoring is a statistical or mathematical method that is commonly used for the analysis of uh, data extracted from a questionnaire or a survey. And these data, the response uh, in it is uh, measured at uh, um, five point Likert scale in which the participant had an option of choosing from one to five. One stands for um, strongly disagree and five for strongly agree. The objective of performing uh, EF, EFA in SPSS is to uh, group uh, questions or items that has been developed uh, for an instrument or a scale, i.e. a questionnaire, to group these uh, questions into uh, factors or constructs and to find out whether these uh, items load together or hold together to measure certain or specific construct or factors. So basically uh, um, grouping the uh, collection of questions into factors or constructs. If you find this video useful do subscribe to the channel, leave any comment in the indicated uh, box and activate the notification bell to receive the recent and uh, latest release uh, into the channel of several different video clip and click on the like icon and share the video link with others so the channel can expand and improve to include a large scope of different statistical method and how to analyze data using uh, several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistic, or Statistics, Graph, Pad, Prism, G Power, Python, and RevMan. Here in SPSS data view, I had placed uh, data in which the participant had uh, questions, items to um, answer, and he had or she had a selection from one to five. So this questionnaire was based on the five Likert scale, and I've just selected here eight questions or items for the purpose of explanation. There are 200 participants who filled the questionnaire and their response uh, were recorded. To perform uh, EFA, Exploratory uh, Factor Analysis, uh, to find out uh, how many factors uh, or constructs uh, these items can be grouped into and uh, um, to uh, find out whether these uh, items can, some of these items can load together and be grouped into specific factors or construct to measure that construct without specifying the construct itself. So the objective of performing the exploratory factor analysis is to produce or group these items into factors uh, or construct and for the researcher has to give these factors or construct a proper labeling or naming. To perform the analysis in SPSS, click on Analyze, scroll down to uh, dimension reduction and then click on factor here a window appear in the window select the items from item number one to item number eight 
uh, we're going to select them all of them and then drag them and move them to the variable box here or variables box there are several uh, options to select from here click on the icon for descriptive in this new window click on the univariate descriptive uh, for the correlation matrix take on the coefficients take on the significance levels which is an optional can be um, presented take on determinant which is an important and take on the KMO and partlets test of sphericity click on continue now for the extraction method here we need to specify which method to use SPS has several options to choose from principal component analysis to exploratory factor analysis for exploratory factor analysis click on principal axis factory keep the tick for unrotated factor solution tick on the scree plot and for extract based on eye uh, eigen value uh, keep that at a one value eigen's value or eigen value is greater than one however if you have already done a principal component analysis and you have uh, an idea that you uh, would have three or five uh, factors or construct then you can specify that but for the sake of this video i will just keep it uh, um, empty uh, then click on continue uh, click on rotation in the rotation here there are several method to choose from there are two type of rotations orthogonal which include the uh, varimax uh, um, quartimax and equimax and the second type is the oblique rotation which include the direct oplimin and the pro max. The orthogonal uh, rotation is used when the factors are not correlated and the other type is used when the factors are uh, correlated or associated or there is a strong relationship between them. So for the sake of this representation, I will stick for that direct oplimin which is an oblique rotation and I will click on continue for the scores no changes just click on continue for the options keep the tick on the missing value uh, exclude case cases li list wise and for coefficient display for math tick on sorted by size and for uh, suppress a small coefficient tick on that and I uh, will insert a value of 0.3 click on continue several tables and a plot are generated in the output for the SPSS as shown here in the descriptive statistics a mean and a standard deviation is given for each item and there is no missing value or values for each item here as the total is 200 uh, participant the next table is the correlation matrix for this table it is important that the value which is the correlation between items item number one with item one item two up to eight so uh, this is called correlation matrix and the value need to be between 0.3 and 0.8 anything above 0.8 will be a high correlation which might indicate a strong correlation anything below 0.3 considered to be a weak correlation so the ideal is to be between 0.3 and 0.8 for a positive value for minus value the correlation should be should not be less than minus 0.8
8 and if we look here at the values item 1 correlate with 2 at a value of 0 0.65 with 3 is 0 0.62 however a correlation between item 1 and item 1 is absolute correlation which is 1 uh, and that is as shown uh, correlation between item 2 and 2 and 3 and 3 all have a value of 1 what is important also from this table is the determinant value. The determinant value has to be greater than uh, is 0 0.00001. So the value has to be uh, higher than 4 point and then 4, 0 and 1. And the value here is okay to proceed with the uh, EFA analysis. The second table is the table for the KMO and Partlet test. The Kaiser Meyer Orkin uh, measures of sampling adequacy. The value has to be greater than 0.5 and here it is 0.57 uh, which is acceptable and for the uh, p-value it has to be less than 0.05 and it is here the, uh, the p-value is significant moving to the third table which is the cum communalities for the extraction for each item from item number one to item number eight so these extraction values shows the proportion of the variance for each vari for each variable or each item here, which is the item one to nine, that can be explained by the factors. The next table is the table for the total variance explained. So here it shows that there are three factors, one, two, and three. Three factors uh, can explain 72.26 percentage of the total variances so the efa analysis had uh, grouped these uh, eight uh, items into three factors or constructs um, and those three factors can explain 72.2 percentage of the total variance Moving to the next um, plot here shows the scree plot in which the uh, eigenvalue was set at 1 and there are three factors 1, 2 and 3 that can be extracted. Scrolling to the, not to the factor matrix table but to the button matrix table from this table there are um, eight items as shown here from one to seven re, uh, misarranged there are three factor extracted so those items eight items has been grouped into three factors starting with the first factor which is factor number one have three items load together for that factor and the loading value is very high 0.96 for the first item for item 2 it is 0.67 and for item 3 it's 0.65 the value for the loading factor here has to be greater than 0.45 as a cutoff uh, value so these three items hold together and load together uh, and which indicate that they are measuring specific construct or a factor. But what is the factors? It is not determined. The uh, researcher has to determine the label or the name for that factor. The second factor that has been produced, uh, which is factor two, uh, which contains uh, item 4, item 6, and item 5. All these three load together uh, into that factors which indicate that uh, they measure that factors and the loading factor value is high 0 0.98, 0 0.6, and 0 0.57 which is acceptable. The third factor or construct holds in it 
two items, item seven and item eight, with item eight of a loading um, uh, value of 0.88 and for the seven is 0.58. So this analysis has shown that those eight questions or items can be grouped into three constructs or factors. Uh, so they can measure those factors or those constructs. One important observation is the factor correlation matrix table shows the correlation between the factors. Any value of greater than 0.32 that indicate there is a correlation. And here from the table, it's clearly shown that those factors are not uh, uh, correlated. So then we can go back again and click on factor uh, analysis and look for a rotation that is um, for not correlated uh, factors, which is the very max. If I click on the very max to repeat, redo, rerun the analysis, EFA analysis with an uh, orthogonal rotation, which is for the uncorrelated factors, click on continue, click on OK, then the same similar or the similar tables are generated here showing the descriptive statistics, the uh, correlation matrix here with the determinant value stays the same here and with the uh, KMO 0.57 and p-value less than 0.05 and uh, again a three construct has been uh, generated from this analysis that uh, explains 72.2 total variances as shown here in the screen plot and uh, if we uh, scroll down to the uh, rotated factor matrix again three factors the factor one has three items in it factor two have three items and factor three have two items in it so this is the way to perform exploratory factor analysis. If you are a student or a researcher and you have a data, whether it is um, um, quantitative or qualitative, and you want to perform a statistical uh, analysis on that data using any of the softwares listed here, whether it's SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, GMP, Python, then do contact me to arrange for either a one-to-one -one private tutor session or a training course uh, on any of these uh, statistical packages. My contact details are given here. So don't hesitate to uh, write to me or email me if you need uh, a private one-to-one uh, -one, uh, tutoring or a training course.